Quasi here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the most powerful manifestation booster, which is known as the winner effect. Before I begin this video, I wanted to quickly announce that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. So if you're interested in getting a free copy of this book in the ebook format, comment Life Mastery down below to be enrolled in a competition to win this book at the end of the week. It's around $12 on Amazon, but you can get this book completely free if you win the competition. Just comment Life Mastery to be enrolled. Also, I'm excited to announce that the Reality Mastery program is still open for enrollment in May. So if you're interested, definitely stick around till the end of the video on the announcement on the free one-to-one -one consult that I'll be offering. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a concept called the winner effect and how to implement it in your life in three steps. So first of all, you must learn how your physiology and how your psychology works. And you know, through years and years of living life and practicing different things and in different areas of my life, achieving goals and completing goals, completing assignments, whatever it is, I've learned little tricks that make it work. And what this concept is, is basically the winner effect. And you know, I've, there's a great book on this. It's actually called The Winner Effect. I can't remember the name of the author, but definitely give it a read. But it's that whenever you make winning a habit, your entire physiology and psychology will change. Like you will completely change the way you do everything. And it just almost happens subconsciously. And everything just almost aligns in your favor when you get into a habit of winning. Now you might be wondering, well, what does that mean? Well, what this means is basically, imagine, um, professional boxers. Now what the agents, and uh, I don't know who manages, managers of professional boxers do, is before a big fight, before Floyd fights someone, or before Mike Tyson were to fight someone really, really powerful, really like a really hyped up uh, boxer, you know, it's like the biggest fight of the century or something of the sort. What they would do is they would make sure that their boxer wins the little fights preceding the event. So before the event, they make sure that the boxer wins little fights leading up to the event. And these little fights will be with boxers who are not powerful, who are just, you know, up and coming, just so Mike Tyson or whoever it is that's going to face someone really big and really powerful, really strong, is completely prepared for it in the mindset so winning becomes a complete mindset. If you get little wins and stack little wins on top of the other, you become highly likely to win the big fight. So you must first get the little wins before you can get the actual big win. And now you can actually implement this in your personal life when you can make winning a habit. If you get into a habit of winning, then you'll, get in, you'll become a winner. Then you shift into the identity of the winner. And learning to shift into the identity of a winner means learning how to win. If you can get little wins, then you'll also get a big win. And this is again, building up the momentum of winning. You want to get into a momentum and a habit of winning consistently, because if you just become a winner, then you be a winner and then you win in every part of life. So the three ways to get into this habit of winning, I'm going to share with you right now. So the first way of becoming a winner and becoming, you know, getting into that momentum of winning is to win at the little things in life. And you know, you might be wondering, what does that mean? And you may be wondering, how does the winner effect even relate to manifestation? And it does because winning, again, if you make it your psychology, maybe you're influencing it in the mental plane and not so much in the spiritual plane. But once we get to solution number three, this is gonna make sense. But once you make winning your psychology and you just get into a habit of winning, again, you shift into the identity of a winner. And I found out in my personal life, whenever you shift into an identity and you become you align with the deepest law of the universe, which is the law of becoming and being. Everything is in a constant state of unfolding and becoming. Nothing will ever be its ultimate potential, but it's always in a state of becoming. A caterpillar becomes a butterfly, a butterfly then deteriorates into nothing and then comes back again, or you know something happens, the atoms of that dead butterfly dissipate somewhere and then become something else. Everything is in a constant state of becoming and being. Nothing will ever be its ultimate potential. So uh, the real question becomes, who are you becoming? Because if you can align to this one principle, everything in my life that I manifested was all a result of becoming. When I became the attractive version of Quasi, then I attracted my dream partner. When I became the 4.0 GPA Quasi, I attracted a 4.0 GPA in my school, my college career. When I became, when I first shifted into the identity of a successful entrepreneur, I was able to quit my nine to five job and you know get to financial freedom. So with that, if you can align with 
the being paradigm, you can completely change the game of manifestation. Like no longer will you be manifesting little things, but now you actually manifest the big things that are important in your life. Now let's talk about the first solution, which is learning to get little wins in your life and whatever it may be. So once you get into this little win state, you become a winner. Once you become a winner, then you win, then you get whatever it is you want. So that's how it relates to manifestation. So now let's talk about how it is you can get little wins every single day. What I started to do was make my own bed first thing in the morning. That's a little win. I reward myself. Make sure you reward yourself for the little wins that you get or else it won't work. It's again like affirming and then confirming. The confirmation part is just as important as the affirmation part, if not even more important. So realize that you're winning and then give yourself a mental reward and say, ah, look, I won. So realize that you're actually winning. When you wake up and make your bed, reward yourself for winning. When you wake up early, reward yourself. If you set about to do something and then you actually do it, if you make an intention and complete the intention, give yourself a reward mentally. You don't have to have like a chocolate bar, an ice cream bar every time you win, but rather just reward yourself and give yourself a mental pat on the back for winning. And in this way, for whatever little thing you'll do, you'll get into a habit of winning. Before a big interview, if you can just get into a habit of winning, you'll see you'll do much better in the interview than if you didn't. If you can just you know, wake up on time, reward yourself for waking up on time, making your bed, reward yourself, brushing your teal, teeth, taking a morning shower, flossing before bed, reward yourself. Whatever mundane daily activities that you're doing, if you reward yourself at the end for actually doing it and completing the intention, becoming a finisher, then you'll get into this habit of getting little wins. Then you'll see that any big event that comes up in your life, you will win. That's as simple as that. So it's about aligning all of your activities to that final goal that you want to achieve. So this is what alignment really means. This is a part of alignment, getting into the winner effect, the winner mindset. So first of all, always learn to win in the little things and reward yourself appropriately once you do win. The second thing you must do is learn how to win in different aspects of your life. So what I do is I've divided my life into different categories and every time I goal set, I do it in different categories. I have a part of career, wealth, I have a part of relationships, I have a part of fitness and health, I have a part of spirituality and yeah, I used to have a part for academia but I don't anymore since I'm done with college. But these are the different categories of my life and whenever I find that I'm struggling in one area, I must do really well in another area. And whenever I do really well in another area, then I find that it bleeds out and reflects onto another area. When I struggle in one area, I struggle in another. But then when I push myself up in the easiest area, it then bleeds out into the different aspects of my life. So let's say, oh, I'm really struggling with business this month. You know, it's not going as I wanted to. Then I step up going to the gym. And I say, no, you know what? I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna get good workouts and get really jacked, etc., etc. Then once I get really, really good at going to the gym and getting the results that I want in the gym, I'm now in the winner's mindset. And whenever I go into work and I do my work every single day getting clients or whatever it is that I want in my program getting clients results, then I actually do well in that as well because this again bleeds down into different aspects of life. Like you might be wondering, why do, you know, why are successful people always glowing and why do they look good, et cetera, et cetera. And that's because excellence bleeds out into all areas of your life. If you look at, uh, Actually, my buddy uh, Sonny pointed this out recently to me. If you look at people who are successful uh, in, in their business and in their careers and they're motivated and they're driven, they actually get better looking. Like it's crazy. When people are driven and they're on their purpose, they actually get better looking. It's not that, like their looks, you know, they sort of just die out, but it's just you sort of just get this glow about you because the life energy is present within you. You're winning in all aspects of life. If you can win in one aspect of your life, it's translatable to all other aspects. So make sure that the thing that you're winning at right now, you keep focusing on it and keep winning on it because it will translate on other areas. Now again, there's the concept of, oh no, what if I spend too much time on one area, now I have less time to spend on another. Well, that's completely possible. And in that case, I advise you to use your time wisely. So don't get too hung up on it and find your own personal balance with this. And finally, the third concept is rewarding yourself and also rewarding reality for wins. Like I see a lot of people very quick to express dissatisfaction when they don't get their way, but they never express gratitude when they do get their way. Stop and think about that for a second. Once you do something like this, reality says, oh, well, you know, expressing dissatisf dissatisfaction, then I'll give you more of things to be dissatisfied about. You're expressing gratitude, I'll give you more of things to be grateful for. 
That's how reality works and that's how the mirror of reality works and we're gonna talk about that in the next video. But for now, you know, if you want to get into the winner's mindset, make sure for all of these, when you're successful in one area of your life and you're another you're successful in another area of your life, reward yourself being successful. When you do and get your little wins every single day, make sure you reward yourself for these little wins. And this reward could be as little as just giving yourself a pat on the back. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I have to now go get ice cream and then you know, ruin my body with unhealthy food. That's my reward. No, just do it in a way that it doesn't harm you, but at the same time, you feel a sense of reward and a sense of accomplishment. And rewarding reality means expressing gratitude whenever things do go your way. Whenever you reward reality and you say thanks and you become grateful, then more of things that do go your way are going to come. So whenever something goes your way, remember to express gratitude. And in that way, you will successfully become a winner and get into the winner's mindset. So with that, thank you for watching this video and I hope this helped. And I hope you now understand what the winner effect is. And you should definitely check out the book on it if it's still not clear. And also leave me a comment below if you want me to explain better. You know, if there's any questions you have, I'll try my best to explain. Also, I'm growing a massive Facebook group where I'll be sharing all of this kind of stuff and also much more advanced techniques down in my group. So definitely enter our group. We have great members who are contributing great value. So I hope I see you there. Click on the link to join. And I'm excited to announce that the Reality Mastery Program is open for enrollment. And what the Reality Mastery Program is, is basically catered to the most powerful paradigm of manifestation, as I've discussed. And this is the being paradigm. Like I found out in my personal life, whenever you focus on being and becoming, you get whatever you want. You get transformation results. And I was getting sick of trying out technique after technique and then getting little things like parking spaces, cups of coffee, manifesting $100 here and there. And I just didn't get the transformation results I wanted on sort of on autopilot. And this is what identity shifting does. Once you shift into the identity of the person and the version of yourself that you would like to become, then you automatically get that thing. It goes like being, then the doing comes, and then the having. So be, do, and have in that order. So I'm offering the free consult right now, as mentioned. And if you're interested, definitely click on the link below. It's a free one-to-one -one consult. And you know, I'll be closing this down shortly. You know, it's open for a limited time. And what we do in this free consult is diagnose your current law of attraction practice and how you can implement identity shifting into your life right now and to see if you're right fit for the program. So definitely click on the link below to join, and I hope I see you there. Till next time. Peace.